my camera just had like a violent fall to the ground and the lens got all messed up and I was freaking out that it was broken. My camera has taken so many falls. Um, so now my camera is like barely balanced on three boxes and the, the little tripod on top of my bed right now. Guys, I swear, whenever I just sit normally and like don't have back support, my back hurts so bad and I slump like so horribly. I think I have some of the worst posture ever and um, I should probably work on it. <laughs> I'm gonna do some Q&A questions now for the rest of this vlog because I want to. I want to talk to you guys. I took you guys' questions from Twitter and there is a lot. You guys do a freaking good job, so let's see. Okay, Cassie asks, I'm thinking about starting maybe a vlogging channel, but I don't know if I'll be good. I mean, I am 23. Have any advice? I think anyone could be good at vlogging because vlogging is very casual. I recommend anyone who's like gonna start YouTube. I personally didn't do this, but I started YouTube at like a very good time to get into YouTube back in 2010 when it was just like very casual and I think anyone could like in my position probably could have like made it. My advice is to like do a couple vlogs, do a couple practice videos before you actually post maybe like four or five practice videos and watch them back and just be like, what could I do better? How could I, you know, be more like entertaining? How could I improve this? How could I improve that? But um, yeah, I mean, vlogging is pretty casual, you know, it's kind of, you can vlog on your iPhone, you can vlog on, a digital camera that you can get for you know a couple hundred dollars so vlogging is pretty casual I think anyone could do it um, and I definitely think if it's something I've been thinking about for a while starting YouTube or vlogging or blogging or whatever it is that if you really want to do it you should just try it and the most important thing is consistency trust me because when I'm not consistent that's when you know things aren't good for me you know what I mean that's when people aren't watching that's when my views and subscribers are going down so it all makes sense you know what I mean being consistent and uploading a lot is obviously gonna be the best thing so Jordan Evans says if you could only have one hair color for the rest of your life what would it be girl shit I think I would be light I would probably be a little bit lighter than this because this is like a darker blonde than I like to be especially my roots I don't know if this is cheating but I would be like a very very light like almost platinum blonde because then I could do temporary pastels um, I don't know if that's cheating because you said one hair color for the rest, so maybe that is cheating, but I would want to be like generally that color and then I could dye it pastels and it could fade out and things like that, so. Um, Happy Nights says, best thing about Electric Forest this year? Huh, the best thing about Electric Forest this year was my favorite sets were Big Wild, who I have some vlog clips from that in the vlog, and then Troy Boy, because for, it was my first time seeing Troy Boy, and he was so good. Like, I was very, very up close for that set, and I had so much energy, and it was incredible. But I would say the best thing about Electric Forest this year was connecting with new people me it, that's always my favorite part i think of festivals is just like meeting people i love meeting like other base heads and like talking to them and connecting to them i had a very very good experience this year so and last year um it's always magical a lot of you guys are asking about forest um erica um, says favorite personality trait of squirtle he's so cute so happy to be reunited with Squirtle. I wish he could, for, I mean, I don't wish he could come to like a music festival, but that's like the saddest part of being at a camping festival for four or five days, is like not having your dog, <laughs> if you're like, or your pet, you know what I mean? Um, my favorite personality trait of Squirtle is his like loyalness and his like cuddliness. Um, he's just the most like loving, loyal, just has such a huge heart you know what i mean he warms up to people and especially because i'm you know his owner and his mom he is just always like if i leave he he just is looking like where did i go he always just like wants to be by my side he hates being alone so i just love how loyal he is to me serena says when is the next time you'll see sean and are there any plans you guys have together p.s i really like you guys together 
thank you <laughs> i'm seeing sean on monday actually and i'm so excited because um i'll be in la this weekend i haven't even talked about this it was kind of a last minute trip and me and sean are going to scotland together and that will that trip will be vlogged um and we're leaving for that like mid next week but basically i found out that we're gonna fly out from la to go to scotland so i get to go to la this weekend and visit with like my friends and with megan and um i'll be vlogging a little bit she'll probably be vlogging a little bit so i'm so excited and sean's gonna fly in a few days after me and um so i'll get to explore a little bit with him in la only like one day like one afternoon but he'll get to meet megan for the first time which is something that i've just like wanted for so long you know what i mean because he's met like everyone else in my family except megan who's like the closest to me so i'm seeing him on monday which is it's wednesday right now so five days and you guys will see this video on thursday so just a few days we will be vlogging together on our trip so i'm so fucking excited kelsey says what are your plans for later this year slash where do you see yourself living at next this is something that i'm struggle not yeah, kind of struggling with right now because um i'm just at like a very weird point where like i'm i'm like being pulled to move back to la and i feel I feel very tied to LA because that's where my like biggest support system and like my friends and my cl like the closest people to me um mostly are and I just feel you know very tied to it because I've been there for the past four years um but at the same time I also feel very ready to move somewhere else but I'm in a toss-up because I don't want to move somewhere else by myself and I don't want to move somewhere else and be lonely and regret not like moving to where I know where my friends are and you know what I mean it's like I'm in a toss-up I have plans to stay in Georgia for like the rest of the summer um I don't have like a definite date or even a definite month of when I'm going to be moving out but probably probably but by September maybe before September I ideally would like to live in like the Bay Area I could see myself living in Portland uh, I could see myself potentially living in Boise um, me and Sean also go back and forth with being like we need to live in the same place because it's so hard like not living in the same place and being together and just thinking about like the long-termness of it so I'm a little bit stressed out about all of this right now as you might be able to tell I'm like venting about it but um I know that everything's gonna work out and whenever I have any updates on where I'm going I will definitely update you guys and I always have these like epiphanies you know what I mean where I'm like oh my gosh I can't believe I didn't realize that I wanted to do this or do that or live here so I'm sure I will figure it out <laughs> but that's a good question Lane asks what are your top two favorite songs off of melodrama <laughs> girl <laughs> I have been non-stop listening to melodrama and I think I do have a top two so I think my favorite is potentially super cut it just like hits me really deep and it makes me feel very emotional so I think super cut and either perfect places or writer in the dark which is interesting because at first i didn't like writer in the dark or not didn't like it but yeah i had to warm up to it and now i'm like i love it um but okay i think i'm gonna say perfect places and super cut but i fucking love the whole album um ken says do you have any advice for people who are new to going to music festivals uh, yeah, my biggest advice is to be positive because there's just things that you can't control that are gonna happen at, well, at, in life. That's like a life advice in general, but don't get like salty and upset about like things that you can't control because like shitty stuff might happen. For example, this weekend of Forest, it like violently rained and thunderstormed like three, two or three of the nights. Um, and it was super muddy and wet and like very very sad for me to see the forest looking like that because last year it was just we had perfect weather and it was so gorgeous and it, it was just really muddy and gross and it was it was sad like I said so there's just obviously things like the weather that you can't control so just try to like look on the bright side of everything be positive and with that being said be prepared i was a little bit underprepared this year for the weather i don't know why i like forgot my rain jacket and all this shit so i was pretty cold this year honestly but um 
I mean, literally other than those things, I had like the most incredible time. Just like have a really good attitude, energy, and um, also you don't, don't feel like you need to go to everything that like your friends wanna go to if you wanna like stay at a set or if you like don't wanna go to something. I say don't, I'm not saying like go off alone, but don't be afraid to like stay with a buddy and stay and do what you want to do. You know what I mean? Like don't miss out on things that you want to do for somebody else um, and what they want to do because sometimes you're going to have to like separate from your friends if there's like overlapping sets, you know what I mean? So yeah, just like do your thing and you will be so happy. Okay, Caitlin says, remember when you had your future predicted, what has come true from that and what do you think might still come true? I made a video about um, my my psychic reading. This was actually a while ago. This is like two and a half, I think two and a half, maybe one and a half. I think it was two and a half years ago that I had this reading. Shit, that was a long fucking time ago. I'll link the video up here. In a Vlogmas episode, I talked about this reading and I said what came true and all, and like what didn't come true and all that. But you probably just maybe haven't seen that video, but I'm gonna link to it up here because honestly, I don't even, I have to like, I would have to watch that video and see like everything she said to remember. But um, still not married. <laughs> still don't think I'm gonna have a kid. But apparently, uh, apparently I was supposed to meet my husband. I think like in the fall of. T I don't think I met my husband in the fall of like 2015. So um, yeah. But there was definitely some things in that reading that I felt like very connected to, and um, I don't think the lady was like bullshitting me because I I really liked her and like I don't know. V says, I know it's only cancer season, but Virgo season is coming. Are you excited for your birthday this year? Um, a little bit. I don't really care much about my birthday. I don't know. I used to like my birthday a lot more, and now that I'm getting older, like, there's not really an ex many exciting birthdays, I don't think, after you're, like, 21. So, turning 23 this year, I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit weird about it. I just don't feel like I am 23. I mean, like, I, I accept it that I'm, all, that I'm gonna be 23, but it feels very weird when you just reflect on how fast time is passing and, like, how long I've been on YouTube and, like... I don't know you guys it's just it's kind of trippy to like think about time passing by so fast but i'm still very young i'm still young and in my prime you know what i mean and like i have so much life ahead of me so i'm not like too you know upset about it but i kind of just want to like turn 21 again okay this is the last question i'm gonna answer and it's from fanny and she says how can you stay positive when you're not sure where life is taking you like in your job slash career and girl i relate to this like at age 22 personally for me has been like a the most confusing age where literally every single day i'm like what am i doing and like i feel like a failure like all the fucking time and I know that like I could be doing so much better but I'm also like in this rut of being like I mean I am fucking happy and I'm like scared I'm scared life is scary it is scary to go out there and like try something completely new and it's scary thinking of just like the unknown I'm at like this transition stage I feel like and I've kind of been at it for a while I definitely feel like I do still stay positive because everything so like if you think back on all the struggles that you've had you know what i mean and like everything that you've gone through in life i mean everything does eventually work out and things happen to teach you lessons and things happen for a reason everyone you know that's like a really basic thing to say but it's true and there's gonna be periods of amazingness like for me i can point out in my career you know when i was absolutely killing it on youtube and it's so weird to even kind of like think not weird but when i think back on that it's like i don't even feel like i was working that much harder um i think that just i just got lucky and i think that um you know like when i was killing it on youtube and like fucking 2013 and 2014 and everything and i was growing super fast and getting like the best views i've ever gotten and all that stuff like I think back to that and yeah sometimes i get sad because like um you know like years later i'm not getting those same views i'm not 
increasing in subscribers and this is something that's kind of like oh it's like a little bit hard for me to talk about and i don't really like to be negative and talk about it but it's definitely something that's real and something that like i have known that is happening for a while and it makes me upset when i think about it but at the same time like <laughs> The most important thing is like being happy in what you're doing and um i reflect on that and i know that like i am happy with what i'm doing despite you know feeling sometimes that i'm not as successful as other people because it's it fucks you up when you start to compare yourself in your career you start to compare yourself in whatever it is to like these other people that do similar things to you it's really hard to not compare yourself um but I do try to stay, try to stay positive, and I think my advice for staying positive is knowing that you're you're in the right place. You are exactly where you need to be, and if you feel like I don't want to be in this place where I am, then make a plan and literally write down and think about and figure out the things that you need to do to get out of this place that you don't like being in and how you can you know move forward and how you can succeed more than you are currently if you're unhappy with where you are currently and that can go for in your job that can go for in school in a relationship like this can apply to so many things just sometimes we get so like caught up in everything in life and it's hard to come back down to earth and think about you know am i happy in my relationship am i happy with the friends that are in my life am i happy with the decisions that i'm making am i happy with my career and my money and these things are all gonna always be changing you know so you might be really fucking happy in some areas of your life and be really fucking not happy in other areas of your life and i definitely feel that so um i think that was just kind of me rambling because i like totally understand your question but i hope you got something out of that <laughs> and if i totally didn't answer that then let me know in the comments if you watched to this point what you guys would say for advice for feeling for feeling like that because um it's a fucking struggle <laughs> and i know that you guys that watch and like especially that you guys are that are watching me rant on for 20 something minutes this clip is literally 20 something minutes i know that you guys like get it i know that you get me and i know that you understand me just thank you thank you because i am up and down and sometimes you know i just fucking am not happy with what i'm like putting out there i hate when i'm like uploading something even if it's just like a vlog that i'm just not super happy with but that's all the questions i'm gonna answer i'm sorry if i didn't get to yours literally feel free to tweet me any at any point i read all of my replies and i try to reply like reply to whatever i can you know what i mean so if i couldn't answer it in this video ask it in the comments or ask it on twitter to me and um that is gonna be it for this vlog because it's been pretty long um thumbs up if you made it to this point of the vlog and leave me a comment um we can talk about whatever you guys want in the comments the dogs are going crazy so this is a good time to end off the vlog <laughs> bye you guys i love you So bitch, let's fuck so I can smoke again I gotta smoke again, I got shit